Thanks to GF Piping Systems' many years of development and experience, properly cemented joints are highly durable and safe. It's easy to learn how to make cemented joints with George Fisher ABS fittings and pipes. To achieve success, however, some practical training is required. The most important steps are explained in the following film. Tools and Equipment Conventional tools and equipment can be used to prepare the pipes and create reliable adhesive joints. A pipe cutter or handsaw, a camphoring device, tangent cleaner, ABS tangent cement, a special lid for the tangent tin, a permanent marker, a brush to fit the pipe size, white absorbent and lint-free paper towel, gloves. Preparation. To ensure safety on the job, the following points must be observed. Make sure there is good ventilation on the site, no open flames during cleaning and cementing, read and follow the manufacturer's safety instructions and use the prescribed solvent-proof gloves. For a perfect cemented joint, the pipe ends must be cut at a right angle. A pipe cutter is the most convenient way of cutting off the pipe ends. A hand saw is also suitable for larger sizes. The pipe ends should be camphored with a camphoring device and deburred on the inside before joining. For a pipe diameter of 50 millimeters, for example, a length of two to three millimeters is camphored. For diameters of 63 millimeters and more, three to six millimeters. This is not necessary for the fittings. All George Fisher ABS fittings already have an integrated insertion radius. The cement coating can only reach the entire surface between the pipe and socket when the pipe ends are camphored and the socket edges rounded off. ABS cement. To create a properly cemented joint, ABS cement with gap filling properties is a must. George Fisher recommends the Henkel Tangit ABS cement for all ABS joints. All the published data regarding tensile strength and chemical resistance is based on the use of Tangit ABS. For other cements, please refer to the respective manufacturer's instructions. ABS Tangit is made of approximately 20% ABS dissolved in a mixed solvent compound. The cement dissolves the peripheral application zones and causes them to swell. Once the solvent has evaporated, a homogeneous joint is created with the same mechanical, thermal and chemical properties as the ABS pipe system. The cement should be stirred well before use. Cement that clots or runs down in globs, as shown here, should not be used. Maximum storage time is 24 months after the filling date, which is printed on the bottom of the tin. Diluting the cement is not permitted. A perfect quality cement flows evenly and forms streaks. The batch used can be noted on the enclosed label and later added to the acceptance protocol. Cementing. The pipe and fitting surfaces to be joined must be clean and grease-free. If not, they must be cleaned with Tangit Cleaner. Use a fresh sheet of paper towel each time. The used paper towels should be disposed of in a container with a lid to prevent any unnecessary solvent emission at the workplace. Marking the cementing distance on the pipe end allows you to see how far the cement should be applied and facilitates checking if the pipe has been inserted far enough into the fitting socket. The cement is applied with a brush. The brush size is determined by the diameter of the pipe to be cemented. The cement is first applied in the socket in an axial direction so that a complete and even layer covers the entire circumference. Apply the cement somewhat thinner in the fitting than on the pipe to prevent too much cement being pushed into the interior. It's important to cover all the joining surfaces completely with cement. 
The cement is then applied more generously to the pipe end, again axially, to form an even coating over the whole circumference. Directly after applying the cement, align the parts according to the markings on the pipe and the handy angle markings on the fitting. Then immediately, and without twisting the parts, push them together to the stop and hold for a few seconds. Then wipe off any cement beading on the outside. The tins containing the cement and the cleaner should be properly closed during work break or when the work has been completed. This prevents the solvent from escaping. For pipe diameters larger than 75 millimeters, the cement needs to be applied simultaneously by two people, one person coating the pipe end while the other coats the socket with cement. During the first 10 minutes after cementing, pipe sizes up to and including D140 must not be exposed to any mechanical stress. After this time, moderate mechanical load is possible. In other words, you can continue working with hardly any interruption. At temperatures below 10 degrees Celsius, the waiting time should be extended to 15 minutes. It's important that the adhesive joints are made quickly. The exposure time of the cement is about one minute at 20 degrees Celsius and for a coating thickness of one millimeter. At higher temperatures or for thinner layers, this time is reduced. ABS should be cemented at an ambient temperature between plus five degrees Celsius and plus 40 degrees Celsius. At low temperatures, make sure that the joining surfaces are always free of condensation. No cementing should be done at below plus five degrees Celsius. Installed pipelines and valves should be left open so that solvent vapors can't accumulate in the pipeline. Wash all brushes used to apply the cement with Tangit Cleaner, otherwise they'll harden. Ensure that brushes are hand dry before reusing them. Operation. The time required before an adhesive joint can be subjected to working or testing pressure depends on the ambient temperature. The exact data can be found in the George Fisher adhesive joining instructions. As a guideline for practical on-site operation, allow a waiting time of at least 24 hours for drying at temperatures between plus 10 degrees Celsius and plus 30 degrees, and allow at least 48 hours at temperatures below plus 10 degrees and above plus 30 degrees until an internal water pressure test can be carried out. Subsequently, the pipeline must be thoroughly rinsed or purged to remove any solvent vapors. After the leak test, it's advisable to keep the system filled with water until commencing operation, unless there's a danger of frost. Adhesive joints made in this way are durable, leak-proof, and ensure safe and lasting system operation. If you have any questions, please get in touch with us because GF Piping Systems is always your reliable partner for installing plastic piping systems.